The journey to making Kilifi as the Kenyan Riviera takes an all-rounded effort. As we plan to increase the number of tourists from 39,000 to over half a million annually, it is my pleasure to it is my pleasure to also unveil to you the Kilifi Riviera Tourist Association, a public-private initiative focused on making this dream a reality with the interim chairman, Titus uh, Kangangi, as the interim chairman. <laughs> work is, uh, work, who is working closely with the Department of Tourism Promotion, the association which supports all local hotels, resorts and tourism-related businesses in achieving the overall vision and act as an uh, instrument of ensuring unit in the efforts of the private sector and the government and act as a balance between both. This journey we are starting today, led by the interim chair Titus Gangangi and the team, will work hand in hand with the county's Department of Tourism, Trade and Cooperative Development, led by Hon Clara Chonga and Chief Officer Herbert Machiro. As we market Kilifi as a Kenyan Riviera, we invite you to join us on this incredible journey. Whether you seek relaxation on our pristine shores, adventure in our lush forests, all cultural enrichment in our vibrant communities, Kilifi offers it all. We are committed to providing a world-class experience while preserving the natural beauty and cultural heritage that make our county unique. In conclusion, I extend an open invitation to all, not just to visit Kilifi, but to become part of our vision for the future. Together we can create a destination that rivals any in the world, the Kenyan Riviera, where luxury meets authenticity and where every traveler's dream becomes a reality. Thank you and may you find own slice of paradise here in Kilifi. And I hope those who have come from far today, they can stay here a few days. But another thing we are doing as a county also, we are just about to inaugurate the Kilifi County Investment Corporation, which will work hand in hand with the tourism department so that we can have independence of the marketing uh, docket in our county uh, out there. We know that we have had a various engagement. We have a team uh, as a representative from the Embassy of Belgium, SAID, which is going to uh, um, Belgium on the 26th. I'll be leading another team from the, 20th, from the 17th to the trade mission and tourism in Slovakia. And these are all the efforts to make sure that we grow our tourism base in Kilifi. And I have no doubt that in the very near future, if you will back, come back again and it will shine again in tourism and I encourage all the investors, those who have left, especially their hotels, the habitated, if you can start repairing them and put them up and running so that when we don't have the tourists, then they have a place to sleep. Thank you very much and enjoy yourselves. Tourism and uh, culture is also of paramount importance. I was um, this afternoon in a Swahili pot in um, in Mombasa, they will organize the Pwani Innovation Week in, uh, in October. I was there for the, the, the first edition and uh, I was uh, very interested to see that uh, the Swahili culture uh, plays a, a very important role also in innovation and in entrepreneurship. And before coming here, I was in Congo, you know, for Belgium, it's the most important bilateral embassy uh, in, in the world for us and uh, know that DRC is uh, part of the East African community. 
I think that uh, culture and the, the Swahili culture um, is also very impo important to, to promote. And I hope that, because you were former, I, I think, uh, in charge of education, that uh, this part of um, uh, cultural tourism will be part of that uh, famous product. In fact, I don't know, I'm wondering, I was wondering what that product was. Is, is it a software? Is it, uh, what is it exactly? So, but uh, I think I will discover it later. But thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you, Governor. And uh, in October, I will organize another mission. And uh, I think uh, the, there will be a delegation that will go to Belgium at the end of uh, September. And I'm very happy to see that uh, our bilateral relation, uh, not only on the national level and uh, relation with uh, Nairobi, but also with the uh, counties. I wish to thank the Governor for inviting me to be with you this evening. I think everybody recognizes how passionate I am about tourism, about promoting cooperation between Uganda and the Kenya coast in the area of tourism. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing the new product, which will be part of what we are planning later this year, the Uganda-Kenya Coast Tourism Conference. And uh, we hope that the new product we encourage more Ugandans to come to, to, to Malindi and Chilifi. I told the governor that Uganda is a very important market for Kenya, and I encouraged him to sell Chilifi more in Uganda so that we get more of the Ugandans coming to Chilifi to enjoy the attraction. So I will also help in selling this product to Uganda because Chilifi indeed being a Riviera, I very much want you guys to come and enjoy this product. Thank you very much once again, Your Excellency. Mimi nakumbuka nikifungua macho bwana governor and you have been here with us. Nilikuwa naona ngozi nyeupe nyeupe kila mahali pako unasikia raha. Bwana governor zamani hata mtu anaweza kaokota shilingi 1000 siku hizi hata shilingi 10 kuokota ni shida. Ama sivyo hivyo. Wamama wetu kule beach bwana governor wazungu wakizunguka wanapatiwa tips za mayuro. Madola, ama sivo hivyo kina mama Saizi hawana mtu wa kumtegemea Wana mtegemea minamnyazi na mimi mwenye mfuko unatundu Bwana governor Mfuko kona tundu We need to see changes Mweshimua governor Nikizunguka hii malindi Tukisema kwanzia jilore Kuna wapishi wengi wenyambo saizi wako jobless They have nothing to do Na nikitu ambacho kina huzunisha sana Ukiingia kakuyuni They are people ambao wako jobless Kwa sababu hoteli zetu hapa sisi nyingi zimefungwa. Na ni jambo la kuhuzunisha kama kiongozi unapozunguka katika maeneo tafauti tafauti. So, kama kuna kitu ambacho tunaweza tukashirikiana. And I'm sorry I didn't come here with any speech. Because if I'm to talk about tourism, tourism for tourism I don't need a speech. Tourism is in my heart. Tourism is my life. I can talk about it the whole day. I can talk about it the whole night. My dear sister, mimi ni kona furaha. Whatever this product is, I am very eager to listen, to learn. Na nimesema, with open hands and open arms, I am ready to work with the county government kuwakikisha kwa mba tourism imeendelea vizuri na niamalini. It gives me such a great pleasure this evening to be part of this historic moment. Indeed, it is historic. As you are just about to observe, the new product that is meant to make Kilifi a world-class leading tourism destination. If you talk to anyone in this county, in Malindi, Watamu, Kilifi, Vipingu and Mtuapa, everybody will be telling you, Kilifi is dead. Malindi is dead. Kilifi is not dead. Neither is any part of this Kilifi dead. We are alive. And we just now have a new breath of life. You will soon see what we are just about to launch. This is going to be the game changer for Kilifi and the country at large. You watch this space, and I'm sure with the collaboration and the support that we are getting from the government of His Excellency Gideon Mungaro, the private sector needs to prepare for a big, big win in the industry guarantee and i can 
say this before His Excellency, that I am aware that the industry is committed, Your Excellency, to give you 100% support in your economic agenda for Kilifi through tourism.